Well, good morning, everyone. Um, today is Wednesday, and it's about six in the morning. And I just woke up. Several of you might have heard I was in a pretty bad car accident. It was a road rage in, road rage incident, and my car got totaled. So I've been having to deal with you know insurance companies and the car dealership and. Um, rental cars, and on my insurance policy, I don't have a free car rental, so I'm paying for that. Uh, yesterday I worked, I didn't work yesterday, I took off the whole day yesterday, I had to run errands, I had to go get everything out of the car that was in the accident, that took a bunch of time, and the place they towed the car was very far away. Another thing that happened was when I was in the car accident, the policeman showed up, wrote the report, took the eyewitness, eyewitnesses, and um, or their account, their story. They told there was a there was a witness that saw the incident, and he was telling the police what happened. I told the police what happened. The guy that hit me told the police what happened, and they wrote up a report. And. Uh, the policeman forced me to take the tow. They, they forced me to take the tow truck, or they forced me to have my car towed. They forced me. They wouldn't give me a choice in the matter. I believe my car could have driven to my friend's house, which was pretty close by, but the policeman didn't give me that option. The tow truck showed up before I could get out of there, and they forced me to take the tow truck. Um, I don't know why. Maybe they didn't want to lose face or something. And I asked them, I said, will the stuff in the car be safe? And they said, yes, as long as you have the key. Well, yesterday when I got to the car to take everything out, of course, I have all my candy in there, you know, bags and bags of candy. There's probably, a hundred, you know, not a hundred, let's say 30 bags of candy, tools. I've got um, parts in the car. And when I went down there to retrieve it, all of the doors were unlocked and everything was moved. I mean, it, it, it looked like a, literally, it looked like a tornado had gone through the car. Um, one of the things that I'm really glad is that I don't do drugs because I'm thinking someone was searching for drugs and it could have been the police searching the car for drugs. Um, I thank God that I don't do drugs at all. I'm thanking God that I don't have any... Um, I don't have that uh, addiction, and I know it's an addiction. I have a friend um, that is dealing with that, so it's difficult to quit doing drugs. Um, so I've been dealing with all of that, and I haven't worked for a couple of days. I've been trying to deal with this car and trying to get a car and trying to uh, find the gap insurance because I owe more than the car is worth. I think I owe, I think, it's like I owe 13 13,000, uh, and it was a pretty new, it was a newer model car, and what they said they're going to give me, the insurance company, is 5,000, so I owe 13, they're going to give me 5, so basically, if I don't have gap insurance, and I think I do, I'm going to have to eat that $8,000, I'm going to have to come up with $8,000 because of road rage, and what happened was, um, two people got out of the car and came over to my car out of anger. And I was at a stoplight. They came out of the car and they, they pretty much ambushed me and my daughter Zoe. Zoe was in the passenger seat. And <clears throat> I was stopped at a red light. And uh, I was kind of inching forward just to see if I could get through the intersection. And, you know, I, I've, I figured people were coming and it was only a one-way street going this direction. And I, and I kept looking to see if, you know, I could kind of inch forward. Maybe maybe somebody would stop and I could get forward and someone else would stop. And, and I could just make it through the intersection. And there was a trolley blocking my view. So I couldn't really see beyond the trolley. And I was on the track, so he couldn't go. And when, I, when it looked like it was clear, I just kind of zoomed out and got hit. And uh, the, guy, the guy that hit me, of course, it was my fault. I am taking blame for that. But the guy that hit me was so angry. He was so angry as if I had killed his mother or something. You know, just the people in this world are just so filled with hatred. I can't believe it. So anyway, um, that is what happened. And it was the day before Christmas, believe it or not. You know, Christmas Eve, you know. 
Now, the thing that I wanted to say was, the thing that I really wanted to get off my chest and say to you guys, don't feel sorry for me. You know, life, everybody has problems in life. There's no, you're not going to get out of this world without having problems, okay? But the thing that I really wanted to say is, one of the things that I'm happy about the vending business is when I was off all day yesterday, I really wanted to work, you know? But here's the thing. The machines, they keep working. They keep making money. So when I used to wait tables or when I used to drive a taxi cab, if I took off for a day, no money was coming in. With the vending business, you can take off for a day and money still comes in. You don't have to be there to make money. As a waiter, you have to be there to make money. As a cab driver, you have to be there to make money. If you sell shoes, you have to be there to get your paycheck. When you have your vending machines, you don't have to be there. They make money when you're off doing other things. The first time that I ever took off for a long period of time, when I was in the vending business, I went down, I, I spent about 30 days from, I was, I spent about 30 days off work. I spent about 30 days without working. It was about 30 days, give or take. Uh, went down to Galveston, which is near Houston. Uh, for, I think, two weeks. Then we went over to L.A. for about two weeks. You know, the drive there and the drive back and the time that we spent in L.A., uh, all of it together was about two weeks. And all in all, it was probably 28 days, 27 days or something like that total that I was off from my um, work. And nobody complained and nobody called and said, my machine's empty, the coin machine, the coin mechanism is jammed or anything. Nothing. Nobody called for one month. And... Um, when I got back, there was money in the machines. There was tons of money in the machines. So do this job. It's worth it. Go out, get yourself some machines, and uh, you will really appreciate it. You will appreciate what this job or what this um, type of business offers you. Just so much more relaxation, so much more freedom. All right, I know I look pretty scruffy and haven't showered. I just kind of, kind of got up and, uh, just wanted to share that, share my thoughts for the day. And, um, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you like them, give them a thumbs up. And if you love them really, uh, if you really love them, please subscribe. And, uh, I will catch you later. Have a good evening. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon.